listen if you are in any circumstance that overwhelms you quickly call on the name of the lord don't wait until things escalate because when it escalates your faith may not be able to carry it as the thing is starting say lord if you don't help me i'm finished father like blind Bartimaeus, have mercy when your fear is rising shout louder jesus help me when you shout and shout your fear will keep quiet sometimes when men are trying to intimidate you shout you need saving grace many people don't receive it because they don't they have not developed the ability but pride won't let them hope you know even in this service when god is saying he wants to heal the sick some people who are very sick will be ashamed of lifting their hands to receive they will want to comport themselves you will die you if you have not entered the corridor of enabling grace better maximize saving grace if you know how saving grace works, they say in the name of jesus amen your neighbor will look at you and say ah ah now only you if they worry you or oh god don't know the size of your problem but the one me i came with if god doesn't show up i'm finished <laughs> did you see blind Bartimaeus? son of david have mercy they say shut up he will turn to the other direction you you don't you are not blind so you don't understand what i'm going through son of david have mercy get out from here <laughs> see somebody will be rocket tonight somebody else is doing business his uncle gave him 10 million his auntie gave him 15 million another friend gave him 7 million he started with more than 50 million and he said you know god is good you don't need to shout for god to hear you uh, god can reach you wherever you are oh god you don't have an uncle that will give you 15 million you don't have an auntie that will give you 10 million and so when god wants to bless people ibaraka you know why if heaven doesn't open you are finished see when we started ministry hear this some of us eh, where we came from nobody has preached or handled a church and god now said go and do ministry <laughs> when i lock myself in the place of prayer i die there or the resurrection power will have to carry me from there we prayed all kinds of prayers we fasted all kinds of fasting every see all the principles and all the covenant i know i apply them i've gone for meetings before i sense the anointing i removed my shoe and gave it i dropped my phone i have served anybody that i know has something on his life whether those who are younger or older i had no regard for age because i knew if god doesn't show up i will be cut off even before i start we are not talking success in ministry we are talking survivor first and so we held on to the horns of the altar like madmen we shut everything down prayer morning prayer afternoon prayer evening because at that time if god doesn't show up we are gone so we knew how to call on the lord in the rain in the sun in the desert in the belly of the deep anywhere if we call god must show up because the way we will call him even god will know that these people are not ready to do anything until i appear and so he will show up but as we started growing god began to teach he began to teach he began to teach and so if you know that you don't have grace to speak to cancer in your body to die when the preacher say in the name of jesus be healed collect it as you receive it you now have room to grow if you know you don't have the grace either through discernment or through strategic investment or through wisdom or through favor to connect to partnership that will bring economic benefit when prophecies are being made better catch it catch it while you are yet learning because if you behave like a big man who already knows it you will sink and it will look as if god does not exist i prophesy over somebody's circumstance tonight there is a turn around now oh. my god the saving grace 
is activated by calling on the name of the Lord. It's activated by surrendering completely to God. There are many people who are in crisis. The things they are teaching in the house of God, they take them for granted. They say, pray, when you pray, God intervenes. They are not praying. They say, give. When you give, it shall be given unto you. They say, leave all these churches. Huh. If you don't have the enabling grace or you are still growing in it, make sure you make the most of the saving grace. Do you know why we share testimonies? He said, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So that when you hear what God did for somebody else, because of what he did, you will do the same. Because he sent his word to Jacob, a lighting upon Israel. Why you are yet growing? Why you are yet growing? Why, why do we teach and share our stories? So that when you hear, you will know what God told us. And you will do the ones the Holy Ghost quickening in your heart. So that God is saving you while you are yet growing. Because everyone who will make impact must maximize the saving grace. When you finish, then you enter the realm of the enabling grace. Sit down. In another five minutes, I'll round up.